What's good, everybody? Welcome to Pop Crunchy Podcast. Yes, back with a brand new episode. Last week was absolutely mind blowing. Grateful for all the reviews and, of course, all of the feedback you guys have been giving us on this show so far. We absolutely love to see it. My name is Grand Prince Ita, and today I am back with another very exciting guest on the show. Now, my guest on the show today is one of those actors that I see and I'm just like, no, the amount of hard work they put into their craft is just really beautiful to see. Someone that has done web series, to skits making, to cinema movies, to even Netflix features on Netflix platform. You guys, my guest today is a woman that can literally switch from being a very rasp babe to being like a really sweet tush babe. Now, if your guest is Stephanie Soma, properly known as Kalabachik, then you're correct. Welcome to the show. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. hey. <laughs> You don't get shaka shaka. So I don't get shaka shaka. shaka, shaka. shaka. I know yet. Thank you for How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great. So good to see you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody they see me. I don't see I'm nobody telling they see me. You. I <laughs> listen, but why is that though? Why are you always like hiding uh, and stuff? Darling. I am I'm a home person. I'll call myself an insider. You know. Um, I enjoy me time spending time with myself more than I would outside. So if you see me outside, it's either not work or money. Anything that is not concerning money or working or chasing money. <laughs> you don't you, want it. You, you, I don't <laughs> want it. <laughs> if there's no money, I don't want it. <laughs> I love it. But I mean, see, I, I, for me, I feel like your journey into stardom, your journey into stardom is just a very exciting one. You know, how did it even start? Like, from what? Why from, did you decide from to start? nowhere because it wasn't the plan you know nothing where they do now we say i plan i'm saying everything i go do eh? no, it wasn't the plan it just happened what right? was the plan so i i studied mass communication oh. in uh oka nam Desiku university <laughs> because people they always wonder how how do you speak Igbo so well how do you yeah i've, I've lived with the Igbo. And so you're not yeah. even Igbo. Hmm. So I school in the East, uh, Nam Aziko University, studied mass communication. Uh, I just see acting just happened, <laughs> you know, I was not looking for it. It just happened. So I started out writing scripts, you know, I'm a story person. Mm. So I, I write scripts and then on one of those occasions, uh, I had gone to Asaba. Mm for my project i was working on my project at that time and they were filming close to where i was mm -hmm. and then i said to myself well what is a filmmakers i have a script so i have a couple of scripts that have let me go there and see what's going on and and then i heard the director was uh lancelot to do a master oh yeah the gov that's, that's crazy. what we call him the governor yeah so he was directing that movie so i went there i'm like okay i introduced myself I tell you why I come. This is why I want to show you this. It's also okay. It's okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I need to film it same quickly. Just wait for me. So I sit down there. I just mm. sit down. You go inside. You know how you do they shoot, 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 shoot. The next thing, you just come outside. Pra, pra, pra. You say, costume, dress her up. <laughs> and I'm those there looking like dress who up. I'm not an actor now. Are you serious? To me, I'm, I came here for something else. He said, dress her up, dress her up. And so then I put me for costume. Sha. I went there. And. I was supposed to act alongside Majid Michelle. Yes. What? You know how people wear the suit for like TV? That, that year. Like that. Yes, that year. People wear the suit for TV where you go to this. I just find <laughs> people. Face to face. I just freeze for a bit. I'm like, yeah. He said, okay, this is what you need to do. You are this. You are his maid. You are going to do this. I'm like, okay, okay. I got it. So, sha, sha, we did it. We shot it. At so that, so that time, I didn't know anything about filmmaking. Did mm -hmm. you? Eh, they shall pay me, but the cocoa they pay no pay like that. Ah, they pay. Was I even expecting anything? He paid. They paid. You get like you know, of course, to say thank you. Well, I was not expecting to even be in a film. Now, I what year is this? This was twenty twelve, twenty eleven, twenty twelve. 
Mm. It was a long time ago. Yes. So that was how I acted. Though. <laughs> Funny scenario. I came out. I didn't know so much about filmmaking, so I didn't know anything about continuity. So I took off my scarf. The, the tiny one scarf, like this one where I take him, I remove him. He just came out. That's the director. He said, "Why did you take off this scarf? Oh my God! Why did you take off the? You know that." I begin to cry. I said, I he said, because we are supposed to take it again. Now you have to tie it back. It's a, I just, they weep. Oh my what God. What time did they from my eye? Like, anyway, Sha. They Sha tied it again. We went. We shot the scene. When we finished, ah, there was something he did that just really, my heart just, he said, sorry. He just apologized and said he didn't mean to scream, but you know. That director that, fever. Yeah. So there's continuity. You have to know that you don't take it. Now, so shall I start? That's, that's crazy. how I started acting. Like, that's, that's the wildest story I've heard in a bit about how anybody started in a career path like that. And so from then, you began to do like other yeah, jobs. Yeah, from and then, stuff. I tried out a few things before I graduated from school. I finished NYSC. Then I settled. When I came to Lagos, I sit down, say, okay. This acting thing, I love it. Mm. I just love everything mm. about it. I'm a story person. Mm. I write very well. So mm. I said, hmm, let's do this. Yeah. And because after I, I did that uh, film, mm -hmm. this man gave me some books. Oh, he asked wow. me to read some books. He thought that I needed to work on, you know, so I had something there. He, you know, That's I'm like, great. okay. So I took it serious. And from there, when I finally learned Lagos, I started auditions. Your eye claw. We begin, we enter street, the audition, begin the hustle. That's interesting. That's how I started, though. And mm. then Kalabachik. Kalabachik just happened. That was in 2016. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Because honestly, for me, I think I, I figured I knew who Kalabachik was like 2017, 2018-ish. Mm. There about. That was where I, I just, I was like, who is this babe? You know, at the time, there were no watermarks. Like, you didn't really score oh, like yeah. watermarks in your videos and stuff. So it's just going to go really far. You're just like, who is this person? I really want to know who this person is. And that's how I got to know you. You know, so how did that one even start? So yeah, for that one. Well, I started a career in acting, like mm -hmm. I, I said. Mm -hmm. So along the line, while we're waiting for callbacks, you know, from auditions and all of that, mm, I was going through my own, I, I was going through a lot of stuff. So comedy was something that, you know, used to lift me out from, you know, a place. So I would watch these videos, I would laugh. And, you know, because I come from a family of very funny people. <laughs> <laughs> you need to meet my parents. I would love so my to. mom is the one who would jump around the house. She would dance and sing and make just make everybody laugh, you know. So on April Fool's Day, it was um, 2016. Mm. I made a video. Now my mom recorded that video for me because I gave her the iPad too. Please tell me if you learned from that video. I want to know if it's that video that I remember. Junior, Junior. My name is not Junior. My name is Junior. That's the video. Your name guys. was not Junior. I'm gonna so look. I'm gonna look for the video. <laughs> that was the very first video that I made. I think that's so the video. It was 15 seconds at that time. It was 15 seconds. So I just made that video and I said, well, let me post this. There was no Kalabachik page. I didn't even have a Kalabachik account then it was just my acting so i posted it there and i said happy uh what's it called april now fool's day. april fool's day and ju just for people to see this other side and boom <laughs> that video went viral talk about viral you know people watching this if you were in on 20, instagram in 2016 you were know OG it. before ig mm -hmm. before ig became at that mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. When we had the likes of Oluwa Kakoneski, mm -hmm. African Ape, Stop he was it. African Ape at that time. Stop it. Like Chief Obi. Um, these are like, guys, these are the oh OGs, though. These are the OGs of like yes. IG comedy. Uh, so we had all these people, and then I just posted that and it went viral. Cracks TV at that time, yeah. Funny African Peaks, all yeah. those blogs. It was major. Who? The video just, and people started coming and, and they were like, oh, do more videos. I'm like, do more videos for what? I'm not a comedian. I just did this thing just for, for where. Oh, oh, that was so funny. <laughs> we like it. And that's how I started making videos. Just like that. So sometimes I just know that people are waiting for me to drop a video. I might be busy. I might be going through my own thing. I just go, I whip One of my, my favorite phone. videos from you has to be the one you're talking about, um, Valentine's Day. And like gold, is it? Oh, Something about yeah. gold. I'm just like, what? Who is this person? Oh my God. That's like my favorite fave video oh, honestly <laughs> yeah the gold thing i'm just like no this babe please she's too funny but you know you've evolved from then and like you've just done major stuff and honestly there was, there was a time i just did not really see you like there was a time i didn't see you on socials i'm mm. talking like 
like a year ago, like two years ago, you just like went like mute. I don't stop <laughs> Like you just went off. Like it was crazy. I find you at no see. I'm like, where is this baby? <laughs> uh, you know, where'd you go? Ah, uh, I I took a rest. Sometimes I, I rest. People think because I'm a social media person, you see the way I'm just with this phone. Some people think I'm on my phone like 247. No, I'm not. You know, so kind of like a coping mechanism for me, for some of the things that I deal with. Yeah, it's staying away. So when I get to when it gets too overwhelming, I stay away. Yeah. But then if you find me and you don't see me for like a bit, maybe I cuddle up. I don't enter my shell, or maybe yeah. something happened. You know, the other time I I had the surgery done, fibroid surgery. So it was it was quite some time. So I was away. Yeah, how was the oh, experience for you though? How was the experience for you? Ooh. <laughs> tough, tough, tough. One of the toughest. I know I've been through a lot in my life, trust me. But that was one of the scariest and you know toughest thing I've had to. Fibroids, I mean mine was just I, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I'm glad I'm here today. I'm sitting here. Yeah. I can speak, I can yeah, do anything. Yeah, I saw videos and pictures Ooh, before yeah. that time. Mm. You know, the fibroids it grew so big i was looking like i was six to seven months you know gone pregnant so people would see me outside and <laughs> not even they don't call me oh yeah veggie so serious? i go to the hospitals regularly i used to do you know different clinics and those guys at the gate go see me and say ah yeah veggie well they'll say come let me help you carry your bag ah. i'll just smile now it is a annoying smile now only me know which i they go through i know it's, i don't carry belly i don't carry any twins do you get so that was it. it was a really tough tough one but yeah i survived had the surgery done thank god a couple yeah. complications but you know oh interesting um that your career at the time i mean everything just you had to put that all up and, and just you know cater for yourself and yeah. just you know but i mean were people reaching out and the fact that you were not responding they did look as though uh waiting to do this babe since they didn't know exactly what was going on uh, <laughs> well me me being me the kind of person i am even i might be going through something if i don't want anybody to know you won't know so i probably because i don't put a lot out there i don't put things about myself out there so sometimes i might disappear only people who truly 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 care to look for me when they come i know that oh this person because sometimes people don't even realize that you're gone that's how the world of social media is so I, I i always like to make people understand that it's two, it's not it's two different worlds social media is not real world so there's there's living your life yeah and then in there's, real life. you know so i have people that i have friends that i would say understand it's one thing to have friends it's one thing to be blessed with the kind of friends that even when they don't see you they will look for you you know so those were the only times people would know and maybe anything is anything is going on with me but because i don't put uh, put it out there you you probably wouldn't know mm. that something was going on until i decided okay it's time to share to share yeah. i want to post it i want to put it there. i want to talk about it and this is why you know then that's when everybody oh wow <laughs> um i remember 2016 when you did the jimmy bandon show <laughs> yeah crazy stuff let me tell you you know we're just watching the content recently yeah um, i think it's currently, it's currently showing on pop central here mm. i'm just like no she looks a bit different you know like way back yeah that was you know that was from i think 2016 yes 2016 yeah that was like one of the earliest projects yeah the jimmy vandell show mm. i mean before then i had done a couple of uh, african magic projects mm. short uh, african magic films here and there but yeah jimmy vandell was one of yeah, and then you the did uh, Fate of Alakida, Alakada. Fate of, oh, Fate of Alakada, yes. Yeah, in that 2020? Was, yeah. Uh, 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 you gurgled me. Let's you gurgled me. <laughs> Stop it. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, you didn't do that. Nah. Oh, so yeah, it's Fate of Alakada. That was uh, Tony Abraham's film. Yeah. And then there was um, Who? My project, The Plenty You. Ah, uh, no, I know you. My favorite project. Chronicles of uh, of Calabash Chick. Yeah, there was Chronicles. That was a web series. That, that was I crazy. Did. The one where you you came to move to Lagos and you had to do like yeah. different jobs. No, that was wild. 
that was actually really that was one wild. of my first web series yeah. that i did yes yeah interesting um, yes um, recently Rio, um, no riona was was last year or two years ago mm. the slum king you guys slum king is so major <laughs> You know, she plays a nurse in that one. I didn't miss that show, you know. And I kind of really liked her character in that one, too. It was very different from the usual color yes. chick that I would see. And it was just interesting to see that. Did you enjoy playing that oh, one? Oh, I, I totally enjoyed playing that character on Slum King. I mean, for so many reasons. First off, when I, when I accept to do a, a, a movie or play any mm. character, I read the script, oh. digest it. You know, I look at the character and like, how do I make the best out of this character? Mm. And good for me, when uh, we had the meeting, the pre-production, pre the director asked, he said, well, what do you want to make of this character? You know, create a person for her, create a persona, like just make her somebody. Mm -hmm. And that was what I did. So I just give her life like, <laughs> It was this so beautiful. Yes, and the story is one that I connect with on a very deep level. Mm. Growing up in the slum, to me, I grew up in the slum. Oh, where? <laughs> so, yes, it was kind of like it was taking me back mm. to my growing up days because we also had a nurse to buy the house. Oh, yeah, so Slum King, I enjoyed playing yeah. uh, nurse. I love that. Do you know my most iconic look of you? Do you want to know? Tell it's me. your AMVC look. I think 20. Um, Let me see if you would. Yeah, and I, I might not get the year, but I remember the dress. Okay, color. Yeah, gold and black. It, it's all. I think it has a net at the back like this. Wow. It's gold. Like, is it 2021? Gold and black. I'm trying to remember. It might be. It's gold. I know. There's going to be a picture on your screens now, guys, by the way. But it's gold. <laughs> I, I really hope I can remember. What was the year? That year we this thing, uh, COVID. Yeah. 2020. 2020. That was the last AMVCA I attended. Yeah, that's that's my favorite look of ah. you. Ah, no, that dress, it was fine. The way was the dress do virality. I'm just like, no. Was it was, that, was so good. Black? Okay. It's gold. Dig it, dig it, dig it out. Let us see. That's okay, what I'm trying to do. Okay, one. Yeah. Ah, Omoda AMVCA. It was after the event. They now started that talk that somebody was there that Omo. All of those look ourselves inside house. I say, wait. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you say if you go. Ah, I go. I'm so grateful. Mm. I was I wasn't at that AMVC A's. That's the MVC I did not make. I was mm. supposed to. You know this AMVC thing. This year gonna go start this on a, you know <laughs> Kiniko again. What's the most amount you spent on an outfit? Uh, like on a look. The most amount I've spent on a look. Yeah. I can't. I won't really. Mm -mm, I don't get any price to give you. No, no, uh -uh, no. So but, you, but because I work. range now. I range. I work with designers. different. Yes, I work with designers and stylists. You know that put my look together. So, if I want to give you range now, how will I? Okay, maybe everything, everything for the look. Look, I mean, we'll say one million. I was right point, now. Yeah, this me, look. Oh, that's the look. <laughs> this look so good, so iconic. Yeah. Listen, that it was, was uh, so Lady clean. Billionaire. Ah, Lady Billionaire. It's sweet. It was too nice. Oh, I, I love the look. Nah, that look was crazy. <laughs> like I loved it. I was just like, nah, this has to be one of my best dresses. <laughs> it was so good. Are you making plans to come back to the MVC this year? Yes, yes. You should be there. Uh, it's, it's our thing now. I hear that you guys already started making plans for it. Of course now. You you have to plan early. All this kind of thing. Plan early. So that, that, I that diary, you're not running around. I am an actor. Of course I have to plan for the uh -uh. interview. <laughs> they don't do that challenge. I've never seen that one. Oh. No, I'm looking forward to your look this year. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, look forward to it. Let's see what it's we what do. Well, let's see what we put. Give me a hint. What color? Hey. Don't bubble me. I'm not giving you any. Maybe, Give me a hint. Um, black. Black. That's a lie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's a lie. Why? Because you on black. I don't. I don't. Me see on that. black. You don't think I can pull black? I know you can pull black, yeah. but I don't think you wear black to the embassy still. Because you have said it now. Watch me do it. <laughs> <laughs> God have mercy. Watch me. Listen. 
are there directors or people in the industry that you see and you're like, oh, I really want to work with this person and the work that they do? Hmm, yeah, there are, there are lots of them who, hmm, I would say there are lots of them. And thankfully, I have, I have worked with some of those people on that list, mm. you know. Like who? Where I've gotten to now. Uh, our director for Slum King, uh, Dimeji Ajivola. Yeah, he's one of those directors that would look up and say, ah, I can't wait to work with this guy, mm. you know. Me, I just say my prayers out. I just put it out there and say, yes, it's going to happen. And then when it happened, it was like, ooh. Mm. And it was all that I expected it to be and more. Mm. The experience was wholesome. Mm. Amazing. Amazing creative guy. Mm. Uh, there's... Um, that I hope to work with. Yeah. Ah, a lot of them that I love so much, I have worked with. Ah. Um, hmm. Steven. Amazing director. Yes. Of course, director Lancelot to do my master and who I've worked with, who, yeah, a lot of times. Uh, MME Song, yes, I have worked yes, with. Yes, you have worked with MME Song. <laughs> yes, right? I have. Listen, when I did my review last year for Best Movies of 2023, that came out 2023, the trade was literally my number one. The trade. It's it's too good a movie. Like I haven't seen a film like that in Hollywood. It was too good. And to think you guys did it way back, like twenty eighteen. Mm, yeah. -ish. We did it. it was a long time ago. Yeah. I was wondering. Uh -uh. Like twenty eighteen. It was too good, guys. If you haven't seen the trade, go check it out. Go check it out. Honestly. The trade. Such a Eric. good film. Eric. Ah. Eric. Listen, he finished work. In fact, what? everybody World class. Everybody finished work on that film. It was mm. too good to be true. Honestly, so I mean, you've worked with almost the good. You've worked with all the good yeah. ones in the industry. I think I have. Oh, That's amazing. And I still, I still, there's still a lot of them I want to yeah. work with. I might not remember their names yeah. right now, but yeah. yeah. Do you think the difference between cinema actors, YouTube actors, Asaba actors, Netflix actors, is is there like some? Is there a segregation to it? Mm. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a segregation. It's just. Me, I, I, I categorize all of this into industries. I know it's one industry, it's Nollywood, you know. I wouldn't pick and say, this person is a Netflix actor, this person, everyone's an actor. The person who plays a Netflix film today can play an Asaba film. So, it's more like location first. You put Asaba, Delta, that's like the hub for a lot of Nollywood films, local movies, you know, epic films. Because all of this started from Enugu first, then moved to Asaba, and then, you know, that just became a hub. So Lagos is a hub on its own. We have our own movies that yeah. we do here. So because of the location now, you have more people who are in that area do the films that are shot in those areas. And then you have those people who are in Lagos here do films that are shot here. But then you find out that some actors who are here are there. They go here. And so it's like, will I say, now <laughs> let's, let's talk about YouTube now for a sec. For YouTube now, we're having a lot more faces, new and, you know, older actors, but more new faces that... We know that uh, these they do a lot of YouTube films. You might not see a lot of those actors. You might see, yeah, they could still do us about films. But I get what you're trying to say. I'm just you get trying, my point, right? Yeah, I get your point. I'm just trying to make you understand <laughs> that it's one industry. Mm. But yeah, you think there's the that. actors themselves see it as one yeah, industry? Yeah, there's that now. Because you I, guys, your industry, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Some some folks are very, you know. So. Yeah, some folks, but I wouldn't classify myself as that kind of actor, mm. right? Why? So me you could do one. acting on any platform? Yeah, me for one, because acting for me is I, I, there's the passion that drives me first. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people do some of these movies or don't accept some of these roles because they are trying to build a certain brand. Mm. So I don't fault anybody for saying I'm not going to do a film in Asaba because I don't want them to classify me as this. I want to do only films that are on Netflix because there are actors that do that. You know, you go to them with a the script and say, and they are like, where is the movie going? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If the movie is not going on Netflix, I'm not doing. Mm -hmm. I don't classify myself as that kind of actor. Mm -hmm. Like, if I like a story, 
if I, you know, I would do it. Mm -hmm. So now, I won't fault anybody who says I don't want to do YouTube films. Mm -hmm. I want to do only movies that go on streaming platforms like Amazon or Netflix. No faults because maybe they, you're trying to build your brand. You just want to be seen on platforms mm -hmm. that are, you know, you have more international. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so you don't want to localize yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. That's that's a very good way that's, to answer. Yeah, so I don't fault anybody yeah. who says um, yeah. I'm a Netflix actor, yeah. Yeah. I'm an Asaba actor, yeah. I'm a, but it's just it's one industry. Yeah. Has anybody asked you for sex for a role? <sighs> sex for a role. I mean, the person you know go get to that point. You will not even open your mouth to say the say before I go feel maybe I go blow, anybody your, asked I you blow your teeth. I mean, yeah, there there have been instances where. Maybe you don't come out rightly, cause me, and I, I don't even smile. So you see me, before you, you call approach person, they tell them guys, they look face me. They know they look me like that because they talk to me. So, but I mean, there's been instances where it's kind of like a dicey situation. I I I, I audition for this thing. Mm -hmm. I, Nami merits this role, mm -hmm. but you're not giving it to me simply because you don't wanna. Yeah, maybe you said something that you know that annoyed me, and me I go react. That is me. I'm not going to sit down and let you talk down on me or maybe talk down on women or whatever. You know, so you come at me with, oh, blah, 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 I shut you down. Because even if it was at the beginning stages of my career, this was like at the beginning stages. But I was like, no, I can't stand this. No, you, you don't come out right to tell me that. Don't you think, do you think that all these other people that I do, do you want to come and, come and, come and what? <laughs> what am I, I'm bringing my, I'm, I know what, what, what I carry. Mm -hmm. I know I'm talented. I know that I can. I'm, I'm offering something. So it's not but like. You're asking for something. I else. mean, because the, the thing is, a lot of these people who do these things, right? They're used to seeing a lot of desperation. Like, when they see people who want to act, who are ready to do anything. So they, they use the same eye. They look everybody. Mm. But there have been instances, I would say maybe two or three. Do you want to name names for me? Ah, no. I'm not going to name names. Well, the other one, God, God rest his soul. So he's dead, so you can mention he's his late. name now. No, I'm not. But <laughs> well, he's dead now. I don't, I know. I don't need to. The people that do that, they know themselves. Mm. But it's it's wrong. It shouldn't. It shouldn't even. But it's something that's happening though, because like people always act like, oh, when when girls come out to say things, mm. like they're like, oh no, that's not true. It's so that's the thing with us here, you know, the culture of shushing people. Mm. You don't. They don't let you talk. Because uh, ah, you, what were you doing there? Why did you go there? Why, uh, you know, you, sh shut up. You can't even talk. So there's that. It, it gives them a covering yeah. for whatever thing they yeah. do. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's not just Nollywood. Yeah. It happens in a lot of other industries. Yeah, sector, banking. There's a lot of, but yes, yeah. there's a lot of it in Nollywood. I won't even say it doesn't exist. It's there. I'm not going to turn a blind eye. You know, there are people that even go as far as using harassing children you know it's we've crazy. heard instances kids child actors That's and for that i'm really really angry because me when i want vent my anger and a proper pride they come like dragon dragon fire and dragon That's smoke because like but if we notice well, why do why are we not calling them out then i mean i think the call out they the, the, the call out happened that's how i even heard about it they called out a certain guy a certain what was he is he i don't know what he is on the set whether he's a production assistant or a production whatever i don't know because they have a lot of people working on a, a film job Probably that i don't see him i don't know his name he's not even i don't mean most i'm done i see things like that now anger i they use yeah. i don't even i cannot even memorize really your name you know but i think they're taking the matter up and you know, no oh yeah right it rings a bell now remember but yeah this is what it is we're gonna go on a quick break guys when we are back with axe kalabachik a couple more questions ha, ha. yeah get to know a little bit more <laughs> right here in the show stick around we're right back Welcome back to popcorn 10 podcast with your sincerely grand friends it kalabachik is still here i find out what's up <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call you now. Da, what's up, now? Nah. <laughs> 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 I'm No. <laughs> See, you've... Uh, so, um, your story is very... It's crazy. Like, when... I don't think that people would know the amount of things or the volume of things that you've actually gone through. 
mm. in life, you know. Um, you were just talking about the other day how, you know, sexual assault at a very young age. What made you become so bold to talk about stuff like that about you? Because you know how people are now. They don't mm. really want to share stuff like that about themselves. But what made you say, you know what, I'm going to share this either way? I mean, I think I just... I just had enough for one. Secondly, it was just a realization that I had a platform. Mm. I have a voice. I can actually speak. Because it was too much of, you know how you go, they look things, they happen, because they vex you. You know, there's really nothing you can do, but mm. what, what do I have? I just have a platform. Yeah. So more like growing up, it was a tough that all that whole growing up phase for me was really tough but getting to the point where i become an adult and i learn relearn or learn you know some of the things that i i thought i knew and understanding i mean as you grow older you learn more you become wiser you understand things better so i got to the point where i said nope 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 we can't fight this like this we need to start talking. We need to open our mouths. Things are going on. Nobody wants to talk about it. Everybody, they overlook. If you see somebody that wants to speak up, they go shush and say, yeah. you shut up. What's your business? Now you're picking. Eh? The person with the touch, now you're picking. You know, those kind of things. And I come on social media, I'm like, I'm boiling. I'm like, ah, these people, these people, are tr they, they trigger me. But hmm. I say, well, this is what I'll do. Let me just talk. So that people know that I'm not just talking, take or say, people just they talk. Things mm. just they have made, they just talk. Mm. I have lived this. I have experienced everything. Like I am a walking <laughs> I won't say I'm a walking <laughs> persistence. <laughs> but seriously, persistence is one word that you know stays in my head because that is how I've been able to overcome a lot of things or you know pull through. So well, it, so it. it sounds very exhausting already. Like it just sounds like it's 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 a lot to even put to words and just you know, you know, let out there at the end. Yeah, of the I just day. had to because I, and then I, and then again I found out oh there's a lot of people who look up to me. There are people who come to my DMs to just tell me things, tell me how the video that I made just pulled them out of some deep you know sorrowful sad place and mm. i i enjoy it because that's what gives me fulfillment right making people laugh because i have lived a sad life when you say person i have lived a sad life so i know what it feels to be sad to wake up and it's like you don't even want to wake up so making people smile making people laugh it just it's just the closest i get to being happy it makes me happy too so it's just a way of helping Lighting. people yeah, yeah just you know yeah so, but I will still be me. Kalabachik will still be Kalabachik. Those people will know me from when I opened Instagram page, Kalabachik, when I talk, talk, when I rant or say anything. I tell it like it is. What's the weirdest DM you've ever gotten? What's the weirdest DM? Oh, sh <laughs> The weirdest DM. Oh, man. Okay. So, this woman sends me a DM. Not a woman, rather. The man first sent me a DM. I mean, I get all those kind of DMs, people proposing to do things for me, buy me things, they just want to fly me out, they just want me to, you know. I know they respond most times. When I open, I just skip. If you are not talking about business or Money. how maybe you want to post a content or you want me to wear your clothes or do something or if it's not, I just skip. So that DM came. Apparently, it, it had been, so over how many months, I never responded. Another DM came again. So he moved to the top. And then this third DM came like, I think two days or so afterwards. And then that one dropped and he goes, if you respond to this chat, you will die. This man is a, what did she call him? He's an ungrateful, an ungrateful something. Say he's ungrateful. Yeah, with how many children? Make sure you don't reply. If you respond to this chat, you will die. What was the DM? What? That's the DM. Yes. So I just knew because apparently that one was coming from his wife. Oh, so Maybe he she sent the, oh, so the guy sent the first one and then he the sent the other two. She now sent the other two. What was the, the other two though? 
hello beautiful you know how they tell you how you're beautiful how they like you you know they just want to buy something for you or spend money on you or just fly you somewhere mm. you know but don't you of... like that that's what the it girls like though uh well not me sha you know who collect is this money fly i don't out. know this person yeah i know they collect money for people and like that too yeah who, who are you what do you want do you need my blood i am a choosing ah a choosing. what do you need what? <laughs> wow just like that oh yeah that was <laughs> So you don't have DMs people sending you private parts, like? Oh yeah, I, I I used to have a lot of those, like, I would say maybe years back, okay. maybe two, three, Agenda. two years ago, not not recent, I don't try that. So then I used to block. Even if you're someone that follows me, maybe I even notice your page or something, but it, yeah, a couple of guys have done that. So once I, I block, I block, I block, I block. Have you ever been dragged on social media? Dragged? Like all those small generators, the like, dragging, like drag you on Twitter, like proper drag drag. No. That's crazy. Why would you drag so me? So how are you able to stay and, you know, people don't really drag you like that? Oh, okay. Because, I mean, there's an industry that believes in dragging and cloud chasing. Mm -hmm. for, yeah, yeah, that's the word, cloud chasing. Mm, so for me, right, because like I told you, I'm not here for the fame. I, mm. I didn't come in here for the fame or to look for nothing, right? Comedy just happened. And I enjoy doing it. So even if I started out with a few followers and even got uh, stuck at a certain stage. I was not moving on. Or I'm okay. Like, I don't even send. I'm not there for all the followers and who unfollows me and all of that kind of thing. So I just do my stuff. For me, it's just fun. I come there, just make You know how your colleagues show so, off, show off, you know, I just got this, I just got yeah. that, and stuff like that. Some are not so real sometimes. <laughs> You know, but like, believe everything you see on social media at all risk. I mean, but then there's a theory of fake it till you make it or yeah. whatever that. I yeah. mean, but that's never me. It's not your style. It's not my style. It's never been. I've had people approach me to say, do this, you know, so that you go viral, so that you talk about it. So I say, do what? Why do I need to talk about me? To do what you go do? Oh, you have my. I don't need. I don't. No, no, I don't. Would you ever do a BBL? A BBL? Would I ever do? Yeah. I mean, if if I if I need to, right? But I don't think I need it. Why? I still like my body the way my body be now. You know, add. But you, you, you add waiting. Add, you know, just. No, add. it depends on the reason you are doing the BBL. Mm. Me, even if I do anything now, I'm not doing it for. I would just for aesthetics. No, it's not for aesthetics. I would just do it for make I get how I want me my clothes. No, no, no. But I like the way I am. People do BBL for different reasons. So you've never thought about it? I have thought about it, but what's the reason why I'm doing it? Now I have to answer myself that question. I never answer myself. Oh, you answer yourself eh, now. I never answer that, There's no need to so <laughs> I never answer myself. I mean, there's some people who, some people have kids and yeah. then they, yeah. some part of yeah. their body, they just need to. Yeah. But some people just do it mm. because I, let me tell you why I'm asking you because I heard somebody told me that they lost the role because they didn't have a BBL. Uh, yeah, if, if someone told you that, then believe it because these things happen, right? I'll tell you, I'll tell you it, it quick. So a friend mm. had gone for an audition. I mean, these kind of things happened a lot back then when we used to go hustle mm. auditions. You would do <laughs> people, the actors that are watching. You understand? You know how you go for audition? You got there at 5.30 a.m. or say 5 a.m., mm. right? You are number 600 and something. Or you are hey. number 1,000 and something. 5 a.m. I'm telling you. So the queue not already. The people don't even go write their name. Go find one side sleep. That's how crowded those auditions get, right? So you see very beautiful girls. You see talented people. You know, you just see different kinds of people there. Now, that's where sometimes people from the underworld do now use as an opportunity oh okay i'm the one that is casting for this film i'm the one that is i like this girl mm, let me see you go one get before you go give I understand. that's what i'm saying so now there have been instances where some girls will go and they'll tell them hmm, you did good and all but your color i wish you were uh, 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 that time more yeah to be fairer yes people so, are now bleaching ah, i'm, I'm glad see thank god for now thank god for now that's because true. that time like a lot of female artists hey. used to bleach 
if you're not bleaching, you're not getting a role. So they were going for all the it's fair aesthetics, girls. yes, because they go tell you say if you look uh, on, on, nice on, on screen, camera. you look nice. On, you know, it's catchy. The color is catchy. Now black is set. But black is black. Is, uh, uh. And you know, so a lot of girls, their self-esteem had been pressed down. Yeah. Press the press out well well. So your girl will come out there crying, thinking, I'll just look at her and just say, You're beautiful. Please don't listen to all this because So there, there there's that and then there's some that will say, Oh, because the, the, the character we want you to play is like maybe a side chick or something and we need you to look a certain way. I wish your body was, you know, sculpted somehow. Some will come out rightly and tell you the ones that will now just sculpted, mm. you will know what they are trying to say. So sometimes you put people under unnecessary pressure. These girls will go and say, oh, let them go and now look for money. Because they want to now look like a television girl. Yeah. yeah. So there's Someone all of that. Asked me for money before. I should borrow them at 3 a.m. to go and do yash. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Say they go return the money uh -uh. back in one night. I said, ah. Uh -uh. People, they save money. Oh. People, they do a kawo. I mean, I mean, they call those things. Where did they put money, money, money? So they go do yash. Coco, eh. Uh, some, they hide money inside. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do what they want to do. The contact is waiting. He said he go give you back in, in one in night. One, I'll give you back in one night. So that's the, that's the. I say wow, <laughs> wow. That's the, the industry <laughs> on another industry because of course that kind of people they give us that kind of money for one night. <laughs> ah, what do you want to gonna gonna do? But it's gonna give me back my money in one night with interest. I can give you back in one night with interest. Oh wow. I say wow, dear. <laughs> it's not me and mm -mm. you. What if you now now die so before, you, before you come out? You. <laughs> What will happen to you, come out. <laughs> you know, but I mean, it's it's a pretty interesting industry. I know that you're also moving. You know, you're uh, producing some projects at the same time. You know, do you have any projects you're working on at the moment? Oof. Oh wow, <laughs> 2024 is a very is a is a is a packed year. Yes, for go. Yes, yeah, so I'm working on a couple of things: mm. a web series, Oche. TV series. Oche feature films i'm an actor to just shut me up short film show your show your skills i should do monologue <laughs> should i do monologue, do monologue. give me to... scripts <laughs> no you don't need a script what, should, what do you want me to do i should do now no wait give no. me character let me play for you what should we play now sugar mommy ah and sugar baby i didn't mean i know you now <laughs> <laughs> i would have i can't give you a dead Ah. No, I mean, I know you will kill it. Oh yeah, let's you do that. So you're yeah, sugar mommy, you're sugar boy, right? You're sugar boy, and um, okay. maybe you're trying to blackmail me for money mm. or something. <laughs> no, this is what you want to cast me. <laughs> Why? Have you done it before? No, me. <laughs> he said I want to cast me. Me, sugar. Have you done it no, before? I don't know such. Okay, oh yeah, ask sugar mommy for oh, yeah. for money. For money. <clears throat> hey, mama. You look good today. What do you want? What do I want? I want you. I want you. You want what? I want you. You look good. You look good. You look really good. I know. I can smell you from here. You smell good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you managed to find you a job? My job? I yes. told you I'm working on something. I told you. Now this next one is going to be amazing. Working on a project with DNG and PNE, all I need is 5M. I mean, it seems like the only thing you've been working on is me. But I work on you too, and I work really good. <laughs> you know. Please send me your account. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Jade! <laughs> call me! <laughs> call me! Call me now. Oh, but you know, actually, it's one thing that I don't think I would want to do in my life. What? Why? Because I, I just don't. See, I. I've, I've What's your reason? Because I, I really just do not genuinely really enjoy it. What is the reason? You I don't, don't enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah, oh. like I, I don't know how to pretend like for a long. But I won. I, I, I read theater arts in uni, by the way, and I won best actor one time and no time. And like, you don't that, like you to know, act. But I don't really like to act. I keep rejecting scripts. All my friends are like, "Are you mad?" You know, but. Until that story comes, yeah, that is just like yo. This I think you should do this. Then I, I would. You'll you know, get there. So I'm just like you'll get there. You know, but I mean, people. I mean, because it's in there. It's in there. It's not yeah. I can see. No, I it's see. Where? It's, it's you, ha you it's, have it. Kalabachik, you also have government appointment in Cross River State. <clears throat> hey, you're a big baby. I mean, 
I'm not. We're not. We're not. What's your position, much, though? Uh, no, we're not. No, at this point, we're not letting anything out. You're not telling <laughs> no, me. Uh, for now, for now. But I know you used to work in government. Oh yes, yeah. For the one before was yeah for yeah. Ayade's um yeah. That's the previous yeah. administration. Yeah, what was worse? I was ambassador for sports and cinematography. Oh. Yes. Sounds like a lot of money. <laughs> Do you miss it? I go. <laughs> Don't set me up. And then you were always traveling and coming yeah, back. Yeah, I had to be here and there and there because I was doing a couple projects there um, for filmmakers. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've been in Lagos for so long. I see the industry here is bubbling. And yeah. we have a lot of talent back there. Yeah. Cross River State is beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful. So I had to do projects to, you know, just encourage the upcoming filmmakers and cinematographers to just come out, show me what you can do. And some people won prizes. Yeah. So there's that. And we're working on the second edition of that mm. and there's that and there's uh other film yeah. jobs we're working on also yeah. in cross river state so yeah so i saw you during the color carnival as well yeah. you with f5 oh yeah yeah you guys look absolutely well, the I mean, carnival. How, representing your tribe um, cross river and you know how does that you know what's what's the feeling for you like what's when people feeling? say you're like and you're like oh thank you for putting because i know you probably get a yes, lot, a lot. the map and stuff you know a what lot. does that do for you you know as a trap person i mean it's, it's it's more like i carry the name of the state on my head <laughs> it's hanging on my neck so yeah. where, everywhere i go to when people call me calabachi some other people who don't even know where calabar is they want to know like where is that sometimes I, I, I travel to dubai sometime and some guys i met there foreigners and uh, we're talking about some someone else came to take pictures and they're like Calabachic and they're like oh yeah you who Calabachic and like I want to see your Instagram so I showed them like Calabar where is Calabar yeah they want to be there yeah I had to explain to them and then we have this carnival thing it's yeah. like the biggest yeah. street party in Africa that's uh, right yeah you know yeah. so Amazing. they were yeah. making plans to, to yeah. come down yeah guys fun fact we're shooting on Valentine's Day um just in case um who is your man do you have a man in your life yeah Yes to that, but answer me. Do I right now? Yeah. No. You don't have a man right now. Right now. What do you mean right now? Ah, because you have to be specific. Two weeks ago me, you I had. I can have a man tomorrow. Two weeks ago, did you have? No. A week ago. No. Mm. So you're not in a relationship right now. Let's say two months ago. If you had said two months ago. Yeah. Yeah. I she probably would have been getting married two months ago. Yeah. But it didn't happen. Is it? You dated for long. I'm giving you two words. No, no. Did you take for long? Did you guys take for long? Mm, mm, yeah. How long? Did I call that long? How long? No, just no, not that for you. They do that. No, no, so. just they, no, no. How <laughs> long now? Okay, I say three years. You guys dated for three years. Off and on, for two, and then maybe plus one. That's three years. Yeah. And you broke. Who broke up with who? <gasps> I just want to know. Who broke up with who? We who broke up with We broke up with us. No, we broke up with who? Let's leave it there. We broke no, up no. with us. No, no. Why did you break up? I can't tell you that. Why? I know. Because of another. Did somebody cheat? Mm -mm. Uh uh. No. But you guys have plans. You know, when, when, people, when people they divorce, they say, due to your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so just take it like that. Did you guys, I mean, did you cheat? No, 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 no. Did he cheat? Cheating. He wasn't even cheating. That's the thing. So don't be cheating. But you wanted day. to get married to him? Yeah, we got there. Oh, we got did there. you introduction? Mm -hmm. We got there. That's what I'm saying. You I... Did you introduction? Yes. Let it go. Grand Prince. Oh move my on. god, you did introduction. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. It's fine. I I'm sorry for waiting. It's so it's just, I'm just sorry. So this is your first Valentine single in like three years. Yes. No, not the uh, two one one year. Hmm. There was Come one on. Valentine I did not have anybody. That's interesting. Yeah, so we're back there. But would you guys come back together again? Would we? Mm. I don't know. Do you want I to? I don't even want to talk about it. Anymore. We'll talk about it after the show. <laughs> that's that's sad. Oh, don't worry. We'll be your val, you know. Guys, that's the most we can do on the show today. Um, Kalabachi, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Um, before I ask you to say something to your fans, my movie recommendation for the week this week is 
all's fair in love oh. as have yes, you seen it? yes i haven't seen it i'm i'm gonna see it tonight. yeah damn it will kill us tonight. if you don't see it so you guys go All's check it out in love yeah catch but, it in the cinemas right produced yeah. by day me um right and essa rock don't let him see this video let day me know he would see this video i'm trying i struggle with his name okolawa okolawa damn okolawa yeah i'm making sure i got it right but okay you guys shall know. go check it out it has timini in it it has um um jillian ibrahim in it as mm -hmm. well it has this very beautiful south african lady i keep forgetting her name guys south african yeah she's south african i've forgotten her name but she should be on your screens now somehow you guys go check it out it's great stuff um i hope you guys you know would say i've seen it mm -hmm. and yeah i've seen it i'm gonna give you my review on the movie eventually but for now i think you guys go check it out then you guys let us know what your reviews are yeah you know with that one cool. but steph thank you for coming thank you for being here and chatting with me thank you for having me had a great me. time chatting with you and just getting catch up you know this was just a very fun vibey conversation mm. basically you know just make sure make sure that it was you know light mood and stuff ah. so you're gonna do the sign up for us we're gonna do sign out sign out in your caliber accent you know, so just thank them for watching the show. They just keep watching Popcorn mm. 10. Yeah. You know, your name. And yeah, let's sign up. Keep watching Popcorn, Popcorn 10. 10 podcast. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, right about now, it's about to say that they say I should sign out. So let's sign out in my way. Thank you guys so much. No! Wait. No, they break me. Sorry, sorry. I'm in the spirit. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And keep watching Popcorn 10. It says Popcorn 10 podcast. <laughs> Popcorn 10. You see, it's not like Olu you, you, see, ah! you see, as the rhyme is going, ah, the it's, up, it's up, going, up. going, going higher. So keep watching Popcorn 10 podcast on Pop Central. Pop Central. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching the show today. Follow us on all social media platforms. Yeah, thank you. You know, God on, bless you. On, on Instagram. On, on Instagram, follow me. <laughs> follow him. Follow them. All follow everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>